What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your hoster, Chuck. And in this moment, we have to discuss this. As news is resurfacing about the whole Golden State, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Warriors trade, where LeBron James literally was about to be traded, so they say, to the Warriors, man. What does this mean? This is revealed for a reason. Why is this report coming back out into the world we heard about the rumblings but this report is actually revealing what actually went on and why clay thompson was the odd man now and it looks like stephen curry and draymond green had their fingerprints all over this i'll explain why make sure you guys get in here subscribe to the youtube channel like the video guys let's go as you guys see this is a report from bleach report and bleach report does not put their name next to anything without having all of the information gathered before they even release as you guys see here, it says Rich Paul's influence on Lakers Warriors trade talks revealed as of August 18th. Now, guys, I'm thinking, why are they bringing this back up? Uh, and I've seen other YouTubers kind of elaborate on this, but I'm going to give you guys my two cents on this. As we just saw Stephen Curry and, and LeBron James pretty much make history in the Olympics. And I believe that this is resurfacing because this is something that they both wanted. Okay. Now ask yourself, right? Why was Clay Thompson all of a sudden the odd man out? Also ask yourself, why is Draymond Green, a part of Clutch Sports, so close to LeBron James? And to be honest, it sounds like Draymond Green was quarterback in this whole situation. Based off of this report, it does say that Rich Paul reportedly had significant impact in LeBron James not heading to Golden State Warriors at 2024 NBA trade deadline. Now, what does that signify? That means that Rich Paul really is that man. He really is a good agent. If he was to get in the way of LeBron James, his best friend, and tell him no. Like, this is insinuating that the Lakers wanted this and the Warriors wanted this. And Rich Paul said no. NBA insider Mark Stain reported that Paul James' agent was adamantly opposed to James leaving Los Angeles Lakers for Golden State and did not want James to switch teams for the fourth time. As you guys know, this would be, I mean, if this were, were to happen, this would have been terrible for LeBron James's legacy, especially being that, you know, he's constantly compared to being one or two as the greatest NBA player of all time. We all know that Jordan was a guy that did not hop teams. He did get traded to the Wizards, but he also was promised to have ownership in the Wizards as a caveat to have his farewell tour be with the Wizards. So I really do think that he probably would have stayed with the Chicago Bulls. And this would have been very, very terrible for uh, LeBron James and his legacy. I really want to talk about this, though. For this to even go down, y'all don't think that Stephen Curry, he had to sign off. Like, don't let the babyface assassin fool you guys. Like, these guys, it's a business at the end of the day. And now it's starting to make sense to me. If you guys thoroughly think about this, based off this report, Clay Thompson was really out of character, guys. Like, I want you guys to think about he he never was comfortable. And we saw when Clay Thompson and, and we saw Draymond Green trying to talk to him, he walked away. We saw Seth Curry trying to talk to him, he walked away. Now that this is coming out again, this is the second time, it's revealing that Clay Thompson probably caught wind of this trade and that he was going to be the odd man out. There's no way possible that they were going to be able to keep the Splash Bros together. Now, what I will say is that if this is true, and this is all of assumption, I want you guys to weigh in with your comments and your thoughts, obviously, in the comment section. But what I think about this, guys, is that this is foul. And I really don't respect it, man. Like, this guy went to war with you, and this is the common enemy. And you guys see how LeBron James is so Google-eyed when it comes to... Um, uh, Steph Curry, they, you know, touching their head together and shit like that, all in each other. Like, you could see the love in each other's eyes that they really want to play with each other. And for the longest, I really thought that Stephen Curry was not trying to be on board with LeBron James. Maybe he wasn't doing the championship runs, you know, back to back, facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Maybe then his heart was in it because he had 100% healthy Klay Thompson. But when Klay Thompson goes down, right? Now it's really making sense why Klay Thompson didn't want to go to those Lakers. Hmm. But Klay Thompson really goes down two season ending injuries, gives his mind, body, and soul to the Warriors. 
and Draymond Green and Steph Curry, man, y'all going to, that's how y'all going to do it? You know what I'm saying? Even if you think about it, it makes sense. Draymond Green on his podcast said, I'm happy as hell Clay is gone because now he doesn't have to stress. Now it makes sense because he's not going to have to stress about you, Draymond Green, going behind his back like you did with Kevin Durant, right? Like you did with so many other people and basically what you did with Clay Thompson and pushing them out. One thing about Draymond Green, he's quarterback in this thing because he has no skill set. So if I don't have a skill set, and I want to prolong my career. The best thing I could do is become frenemies, besties, with my boyfriend, LeBron James, fire my agent, hire his agent, Clutch Sports, and stay relevant by hosting podcasts and beating international players up on the court. Now, we know that Steph Curry isn't going to go against Draymond Green. Steph Curry's light-skinned pretty boy. He's not going to go against uh, 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 Draymond Green. Draymond Green is prolonging his career because he's a chess player. He's making the right business decisions even though they come off in the most weird way he is making the right business decisions for himself now guys this is crazy to even fathom that after they had kevin durant that they would really want lebron james and for lebron james to be open to this if it wasn't for rich paul this would have probably possibly happened now in my mind i didn't think that the lakers you know would be privy to this you know like i thought that they would want to retain lebron james he's a cash cow and now it makes sense why lebron james opted in and said that he wants a no trade clause maybe the lakers were really fed up with him we don't know we don't know which is hey this is just speculation but i figured for this report to come out what caused this right what really caused this and the only thing i could think about is just the love affair that the world is asking for the Olympic showdown was so great. The chemistry was Stephen Curry, LeBron James, that I believe secretly they want this to really happen. So it's best that they start to put it out in the media right now in case that this does happen, right? Contracts can be broken, guys. Don't think because he committed to two years that things cannot, you know, that they can't happen. And at the end of the day, they, they'll both, it makes sense, they'll both be getting their fifth ring, right? I believe LeBron James fears Stephen Curry getting his fifth ring in his era. That's what I believe. And I believe LeBron James knows that the roster, uh, as of current, the Lakers, there is no way that he's going to get as close as the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors have true chemistry. The Lakers are all about LeBron James and his selfish ways. And on top of that, he drafted Bronny James. Now, guess what? With Bronny James being there, maybe this is a halt completely. Maybe this is this won't happen at all simply because Bronny James is on the team and he has to pretty much job shadow his dad, LeBron James, on how to be a pro's pro. But this is crazy speculation and uh, to just, you know, imagine that if it wasn't, you know, for, for Rich Paul, which it says right here, Rich Paul was adamantly opposed to the idea of James swapping Southern California for Northern California. Sources to say Paul implored both teams to scrape the concept despite some owner to owner dialogue between the Warriors Joe Lacob and the Lakers Jeannie Buss and Green's determination to lobby James to push for relocation to the Bay Area. Wow, there you go, there you guys have it right there. Green's boy, this dude Draymond Green, he sucks, bro. Like, this, you suck, dude. Like, how would you want your own guy out? You mean to tell me people go to war every day? That's pretty much. Like you taking a prisoner of war and turning him against your own comrades. Y'all know I serve in the military, so I got to put it in terms like that. But, dude, this is crazy. Green's determination to lobby James to push to relocation to Bay Area. Of course, LeBron James is in awe of Draymond Green as well and slick scared of him. It makes sense. Man, that's crazy, man. Like, we, I, Draymond Green, you swing on your teammates. Uh, Draymond Green is a grimy dude, dude. Like, this dude is grimy. I understand it is business, but... This is the business that the players should not even get into. And the the most craziest part about this, that most people, it'll probably go over their head because they're obviously going to be LeBron James super fans and Steph Curry super, super fans. It's the fact that Steph Curry had to sign off on this. Steph Curry had to know nothing goes without Steph Curry say so, not even a sidebar conversation. Okay, so I know we love, I love Steph and Curry. I get it, bro. Like you got to do what you got to do, but this is not a good look. Luckily, Clay Thompson is here in Dallas with me, and I'm hoping and I'm rooting for Clay.
he's going to want some get back. I know he's going to go out and leave it on the court, put play his heart out, man. That's just crazy, man. This is a dirty, dirty, dirty world we live in, man. And, and this is proven here. But you guys tell me what y'all think about this, man. Like, was any of this out of pocket to you guys? Like, I really want to know, is Draymond Green pushing for LeBron James to come to the wars just to cross out and backstab clay thompson like that dude like i get it some of you guys are going to probably say oh clay thompson was already on his way out he was washed no he wasn't he had a lot of stress on his mind i don't know like the splash bros teaming up to kick him out of the organization but nonetheless you guys let me know how you guys feel about this do not forget to thumbs up like the video guys and subscribe to the youtube channel i will see you in the next one peace yeah